we had the uh, before the start of the Amstel 2010. Frank, first of all, of course, congratulations with uh, with becoming a dad. Is it uh, is it tough being away from home already? Well, uh, yeah, it's always tough to be from home, but now since uh, since uh, the baby just got born uh, two days a day ago mm-hmm. on the 15th on my on my birthday though. Yeah. That's great. Um, it's it's actually ha- even harder, but I'm um, I'm I'm also motivated for this race, and uh, it's, it makes it easier. But of course, I'm uh, I think I'm gonna go uh, travel home tomorrow for two hours car by car, just go and see the baby and uh, how the mother is doing. It. Yeah. And Andy, have you decided? Are you gonna be uh, the strict uncle, or are you gonna be the the cool, funny uncle? I don't know yet. Um, we decide when I'm 40. I'm then she's 16. I take her out first time, so uh, <laughs> I take care of her. I'm scared already. Frank, looking at uh, looking forward how, or looking at your preparations, how have they gone uh, during this uh, the early, early spring? Yeah, it's been all right. Um, I've uh, th- this was the first uh, the first big objective this uh, this week, the coming up week, and uh, I think everything for me went good. Uh, I did the races I wanted to do, and I've been training good. Of course, I think the whole Europe had a little bad weather during the whole spring, but it uh, looks really sunny today, and uh, tomorrow should be good weather, and uh, everything went good. And Andy, you had some, uh, some, some, a bit of difficulty perhaps in, in your preparations. How's your form going into to Amstel tomorrow? Yeah, it was not really everything like I planned it. Eh? Uh, I didn't plan that I had a, a, a car crash accident bike involved <laughs> why do i say that in uh, december and then uh, after that i had a problem with the knees and then uh, i was fine with that and i did tireno i was coming good and then i was sick had a gastroenteritis and uh, i went <laughs> home again <laughs> so but um, i trained really hard that week because i was really motivated i'm always really motivated for this week and uh, then pay bus went pretty okay and um, i think my shape is, is good and Frank, you also crashed a few weeks uh, back, a few stitches in, in your neck, as I yeah, call that it. Was, um, that was actually last week. Okay. Last week in Pay Basque, I had to uh, drop out. I, I crashed over the barriers again, and uh, somehow I hit my... Uh, really luckily, I didn't broke any th- shoulders or what happened to Chris. Um, I had four stitches in my back of the head, but uh, the doctor took them out yesterday, so that should be okay. And no problems in the in the rest of your body. Don't bring up some, because uh, then I will have some. But no, so far it's good. Okay. I'm gonna have pain in my legs tomorrow, but that I think that's all right. You won here in 2006. You also crashed really bad, uh, bad last year. But but looking at 2006, what does it uh, what does it take to create a winner here in, uh, on on the Carburg? Well, uh, I think Andy, is, Andy agreed with me that uh, Amstel is, is actually the hardest race um, to win. Even though if you do absolutely the strongest, even though you're absolutely the strongest, it's not, uh, doesn't, if you're the strongest in Liege, Baston Liege, you win it. But uh, even if you're the strongest here, it's not, it's not, uh, you don't, you're not going to win it. I mean, of course you can win it, but it's not as easy. Um, to win it as Liege, Basel, Liege. Only three riders have, have won it uh, twice. Will you be the fourth? Well, let's give it a try. Andy, you said back in November when we spoke last that, that Amstel was your your big uh, objective and, and Frank's objective were, was Liege. Are you still uh, sticking to that? I mean, all three of the classics we, we do now, of course, we, we, we want to win, but it's not as easy as, as you say. Huh? But Back uh, back at that time, we said, uh, yeah, because his boy, his uh, his daughter, was meant to get born uh, three days after Liège. So he said, okay, I take Liège, and then you take Amsterdam. But um, yeah, no, but of course, I mean, I'm I'm ready for these three races, and if I can win uh, one of them, I'm I'm happy. Eh? And I don't really care if it's Amstel, Flesch or Liège. I prefer Amstel than maybe Liège because I won it last year. But we will see how it goes. Eh? Tomorrow night, we can say more. On a different note, you got new bikes. Uh, you got yours a few days back, and I saw you uh, having yours today as well. What is that all about, and uh, what are the symbols uh, on it? Well, it's uh, it's just a specialized product um, 
it's a nice present again. <laughs> I got some presents this year for my birthday. So they brought, they gave us uh, this this really nice special bike, the silver bike. Uh, it's a really good, really cool color thing. And then of course you have the red lion on it. The they're not it's not red, but it's the lion of the national uh, symbol from Luxembourg. Mm -hmm. So for us that means a lot. I mean we are we ambassadors for Luxembourg too, and and uh, it means a lot that we can show that to. To, to the Luxembourg fans and, and to the people, and I think, by the way, I think it really, it's really looks really cool and aggressive. So, and Andy is going to comment on the quote, which is on top of it. I don't know if you guys seen it. Yeah, so I saw some. Can you explain it? Uh, can you tell us about it and explain it a little bit? Yeah, that's basically. Um, we designed also the bike a little bit. It was not just that they gave it to them. We gave them some ideas. They gave us some feedback. So it was going back and forward, and uh, it was meant that we restart with riding with this bike uh, here and we were really excited to get it and they asked us then um, do you want to have like some uh, slogan on it and we said yeah why not let's put on uh, I don't uh, dream my life I live my dream because uh, that's what we're doing and I mean yeah we live our dream. <laughs>